Welcome back to The Blend. It's the worst case medical scenario. You go in for surgery and something goes horribly wrong. So what can you do to help avoid botched plastic surgery? Here with tips is board certified plastic surgeon. Those are operative words. Dr. Christopher Corsandi from VIP Plastic Surgery. We'll talk about that in just a second. How are you, Chris? Good morning, Sean. Th thanks for having me here it's today. Great having you. So uh, plastic surgery, there's a show on, on E! right now called right. Botched. And very popular. Very popular. And I think people are kind of, their ears kind of go up a little bit when they see some of these or their eyes maybe you know lids may be right. open so a little bit. Botched is a sensationalized term. Yeah. Basically it's talking about surgery that doesn't go the way you expect it. Yeah. And so you know the human body is is dynamic and there are a lot of reasons why things sometimes may not turn out the way you want but yeah. in that show they focus on certain patients that made some choices that led to things being wrong. Well perhaps they went to a doctor that wasn't maybe fully qualified to be doing what they were doing. So how do you avoid botched surgery? All right. You it's, can't stay awake and say no cut here. Right you know. exactly so one of the first steps in choosing to have a care provider is finding out what their credentials are and what their background is. So mm -hmm. in choosing somebody to do plastic surgery, you want a board certified plastic surgeon or somebody who's board certified in a field that specializes in plastic surgery. Just because a physician is board certified doesn't mean that they're board certified to do the procedure that you're having done. So you we could were be just a board talking off, off air about sure. this. So this is going to shock you. You could be board certified in emergency medicine or family practice and still be doing plastic surgery. How is and that's legal. As of, as of the current situation, yes. And, wow. and so as long as you have a medical license, there's really no restriction on what you can do. And there's really no guidelines from the government in terms of what you know, your specialty should include. So you can have very limited training, a weekend course or even an evening course in certain things like fillers, like Botox. And then you can go out and buy legally the fillers, Botox, even the instruments to do the surgery, and perform the surgery. And so, you know, there is some confusion with the consumer about where to go for your physician. So we usually recommend to, to patients that the first step you do is to look at your surgeon and make sure that they're board certified mm -hmm. and have the appropriate training in plastic surgery. And so that board uh, that I'm part of is the American Board of Plastic Surgery, mm -hmm. which is an important board because it, it really does vet out a lot of those who aren't qualified. You, the board certification process is quite lengthy. Yeah. Requires a full day examination, written examination, and then a year of practice, and then a three day exam, oral exam, in which you have to present your cases. Your cases are scrutinized by senior surgeons, usually 20 plus years in the field, and then you have to defend your surgical choices. You're, you have to show your pre and post op pictures. And then there's another section on another day where they present you with all these kind of scenarios. What happens if this? What happens if that? That's not always the case in other boards, yeah. and that's not always the case for boards that don't specialize in plastic surgery. So the name of that board specifically is? The American Board of Plastic Surgery. So we should be looking for that. Right, and you can go on the American Board of Plastic Surgery's website and look for a plastic surgeon that's board certified in your area. And Very we have simple. a number of great surgeons in Las Vegas who are all board certified that represent the board. If somebody's had a botched procedure, right. is so, there hope for them to get it fixed? Absolutely. Uh, one of my best mentors in training said there's nothing that's done that can't be undone in plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Although the, the recovery and the undoing process can take several steps, the body is plastic and things can be restored to normal yeah. after problems occur. And so, you know, we see all these examples in the media of patients who've had, you know, horrific outcomes. Yeah. Um, and it does take time. And the thing is, is that you don't have to travel very far to find a surgeon who can do that here mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. You know, part of my practice is revision surgery, mm -hmm. revision rhinoplasty, revision breast surgery for patients who may have gone out of the country for surgery, uh, looking for a quick, uh, cheap sort of alternative, yeah. uh, and not gotten what they bargained for. So, the other issue is is that just because a provider is the lowest cost provider doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the best quality work. Of course. And so sometimes it's often better to save a little bit more to get to somebody who can provide you with appropriate care. It's just like if you needed a neurosurgeon, yeah. you wouldn't go to a discount, discount brain surgeon. Discount brain surgeons is not yet. Yeah, right. Be and going. so it's the same idea. And you wouldn't, you know, take chances with your nose or your face mm -hmm. or your body in the same way. So patients should be really be aware of those sorts of things. I, I know you have a new office here in Vegas. You have an office in Los Angeles. What, what, are, what are the services that you offer? We offer head-to-toe plastic surgery, reconstructive surgery, and cosmetic surgery. 
focus in our practice is, again, rhinoplasty, breast surgery, facial procedures, but we do everything. And we do do a lot of revision rhinoplasty in our practice because uh, it's something that I was specifically trained for in the last part of my training. Mm -hmm. I spent about six months with a physician in LA who had a practice of 35 years who really did a lot of the revision work in Los Angeles. So this was something that you know I was tuned to and something that I have a keen interest for. And I, we're taking a look at pictures of your uh, new office right now. Right. Uh, you offer free consultations for people that might have questions. Right, exactly. And oftentimes there's this fear, you know, if I go in, what's the cost? Well, it doesn't cost anything to come in and see us and see if there is something that we can do mm -hmm. that can help you. And a lot of times patients who've had bad outcomes live in fear and they live in this sort of um, you know, unhappy state of mind because they've already had one bad experience. They don't want to have a second. Of course. So we offer a welcoming environment. It's non-judgmental. We don't point a finger like, why did you do this? Which I think is a bad thing. You know, the patients are already suffering from this doubt of, you know, I don't feel good about myself. So the you last thing as a surgeon, we don't want to say, you shouldn't have done this. So. Doctor? Sean, thank you. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Make sure you look for a board certified plastic surgeon, Correct. VIP plastic surgery. They're located on Sunridge Heights in uh, Parkway in Henderson. Dr. Crisanti offers free consultations. And if you'd like to learn more, go to VIPplasticsurgery.com. All right, still to come on the morning.